Hello everyone, thank you for watching these videos of the Max, Max 3DX, 3DS Max SDK and my name is Camille Simon. Alright, so do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, today we're learning the basics uh, while starting the Max, the 3DS Max SDK. Now, with me launched is Visual Studio 2015, like you've been watching in the previous videos. I'm also working with 3DS Max 2018, and um, I also have, I also advise everyone to have the internet because we're going to be following the 3DS Max guide. All right, so you can see the guide is for 2018, and the first thing I want us to see. Uh, the sample lessons so um you, you can go to google and type that you want the 3ds max sdk documentation okay and then you click on the documentation now uh, for example this is the documentation for 2014 and then from the documentation okay we look so this is for 2014 and then you look for the SDK learning path and in the learning path is where we have our first sample lesson so we're going to first go through the sample lessons and we keep on building on that now I already have the sample lessons for my max 2018 and in lesson one we learning how to display information on our basic utility plugin now remember in the first video we saw how to create a project and that project is going to be your utility plugin now if you didn't create a utility plugin or utility project please go back and create one because it's what we're going to follow all right so uh you can take your time this 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 helps you uh this helps explain the different files here in visual studio for example we have the drl entry okay uh, these are the different classes and the source files and then we have um when you go to for, for example this is my sample plugin max test onecpp and under max test onecpp we have the the other functions for example the class uh, uh, uh the, the class for the desk and then we have uh for example the beginning editing parameters uh, class okay uh, that function it's void and then we have one that destroys all right so we're going to begin with the beginning parameters we also have end begin edit parameters we also have end edit parameters now in the begin edit parameters it calls the core interface okay the core interface class of 3ds max uh, in able to display anything on in the 3ds max ui and then it, it is also calling for uh, for the utility class okay remember we're dealing with building a utility plugin therefore if you're not building a utility plugin chances are like uh, you, you will find another class here and then it is giving uh, it's creating a marker for the interface class as ip okay and then utility class as iu uh, this can also be interchanged for example you can call this instead of ip let me call it um um max int all right uh, not in caps max int okay and then I call this max ui ui all right so i have to change for all these so this this means uh max ui okay so this variable named here okay for max ui we want it to equate to max ui okay and then the one for the max interface max int 3ds max int we want it to equate to the max int all right the max interface now we have an error here uh for the max ui this error is because is called is called because 
these variables were already initialized up here. For example, I have an error here. If I come to the max UI variable here, all right, for the utility variable, and then I save that, you can see this error here has disappeared. So you need to put, and also there's another error here, all right? So much as you may want to use your own errors, your own um, your, your own variables it's better to use the max variables because they are predefined for you all right so there's already a core class here ip okay um in 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 another public variable okay which is calling the other functions okay of beginning parameters and and which is taking these variables okay now right now it may not affect this because these variables are being called here and placed down here but you take that in mind so this should be ui2 okay so it seems i have no errors but it's better you leave them as ip and iu uh, for is now um what we want to do okay we want to display uh in my be beginning parameters let me click again okay we want to display a message as long as someone clicks on our utility uh, our utility app all right so what do they say here all right so they are directing us to to add a push okay they are saying now in the utility begin par editing parameters when this uh is called in the utility plugins it is started and usually adds a ui panel so we have defined it in the dot rc format okay file in 3ds max window in the panel roll out now we shall see that when we when we start 3ds max now when 3ds max is functioning it includes the pointer okay of the main interface as an argument that will use that it will use to push okay the interface prompt okay now the function that prints the message in this area now there's uh, a 3ds max prompt that that um that will will always show notifications okay we're going to see that in a moment now so this is let me go to the interface class so there is this uh, there are very many prompts there is the pop-up prompt okay there is the push prompt okay now the push prompt function will always show something and displays it in the prompt stack now we're going to see the prompt stack so how to get that we need to first call the core the 3dx max interface okay before we push the prompt so we call the interface that is the interface and give it a class of ip uh, a named variable that's an instance of ip okay so interface prompt and then and, and another instance is called here for the utility okay so an instance for the utility so iu so this iu will equal to another variable name called iu so this iu variable okay uh the iu um instance is equal to the another i use so therefore this can change if you change this then you have to change it uh, somewhere else now uh, let's see now uh, the interface class so you can see this class provides an interface uh, interface for calling functions that are exported for 3ds max executables all the methods in this class are implemented by 3ds max itself okay all right so let's go ahead so therefore they are saying that we're going to push through the ip here so you have a panel okay and that panel you equate it to the ip so the ip is uh calling a function called add roll up page all right and then it is instancing okay uh other functions okay now what we're going to do we it's going to get a string okay and those the parameters for the string so what we're going to do we're going to use ip and we make a push prompt function remember this 
will display on the interface so let me copy this down here and then paste it under this in visual studio okay and save now there's one thing we're going to change obviously ours is no longer ip but max int or max initialize okay so i can save so i've just changed this because i changed the variables already there and then i'm going to change this uh, and say welcome to learning max sdk all right then save now remember up here you're not running a debug but rather you're running a hybrid since we're using 64 but uh, but uh, if you're using 32 a debug wouldn't be uh, you can also use a release there's no problem and then we're going remember that um, also our solution you have to right click and choose uh that you to retarget the solution to use this um, um visual studio sdk plugin of 10.0 point beyond that okay now when i run okay our debugger of course this project is already out of that i choose to build it all right, so it's going to initialize our 3ds max 2018 and you can see it has shown no errors okay so it's launching our 3ds max 2018 So this process takes time uh, in the other videos i'll be skipping direct to the launch without stopping otherwise the moment you stop okay as we shall see it stops even uh the 3ds max because 3ds max is running based on visual studio this side all right so first things first First things first, you can see we're already in our 3D Studio Max and nothing is happening. The prompt is supposed to be here. So this is the prompt, the prompt uh, decker. All right, so reason why we must launch our 3DS Max plugin, which is under utilities, all right? So remember, um, so we're going to go to more, okay? No, we're going to go to configure button sets, okay? And then under configure button sets we choose to add you there will be eight you can choose to add nine or ten or whatever so i'm going to make them ten okay now when i scroll we have empty sets here so i'll look for our utility plugin since it's a utility plugin it will be under utilities and you can see here it is it's called max test one okay so i can drag max test one like this to one of these buttons and then i click okay all right so you can see it's now already added then all i have to do is now press so when i launch so in the documentation here they are telling us that when we click okay adding that last line has related into the following message to appear the moment the sample utility plugin you've created is selected all right so if i come and click on our test you can see we have already here welcome okay i typed it the wrong way welcome to learn 3d run landmax sdk all right so let me go ahead and pause all right so like you've seen the moment you 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 stop the compilation even 3ds max closes okay so 3ds max is not launched in the background so let me change it is welcome to 3ds max sdk all right so i have to save all and then 
run again, all right? So it's launching 3ds Mastered uh, again to run our utility plugin. All right, so Studio Max, Max is launched. I will go again to our utilities. You can see we already have test one and you can see every update has been made. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe, comment, and even make requests. See you in the next video.